All right, hey guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be doing some upgrades to the koi pond, adding some new fish, and then just tweaking a few things here and there. So let's start off by getting a few more koi in this pond. I have a koi pond in our front yard. It's a like 110 gallon stock tub, and there were a few small koi in it. It's time to move them into their permanent home. So let's go ahead and grab those guys. The water level's really low right now because I wanted to get a lot of oxygen going into the water because there's a lot of fish in here. So that's why the water level's super low. So that would splash more to create more oxygen. Anyway, but I'm gonna go ahead and catch all these fish out of here. You probably can't see them too well just because, you know, pond's looking a little bad. All the plants died because it's winter. But I'm gonna go ahead and net all these guys out. There's uh, three common goldfish that came from the fair. There's an Ogon Koi. There's a Walmart Koi. And then there's two other Koi in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and net all them out. I'm gonna individually bag all of them. And then we're gonna go ahead and start acclimating them into the new actual Koi pond. All right, so they've been acclimating for a little bit. I've corralled them into this corner using the little net, but now we're gonna go ahead and actually place them into the pond. We'll start with these three Comet Goldfish right here. There's a quick look at them before they go into the pond. These are just basic uh, feeder goldfish. One of them is like from PetSmart, the other two are from like a fair. We'll go ahead and dump these guys in the pond. They're just chilling out right there. Go ahead and grab the next ones. We'll do this koi right here. It's almost like a little butterfly koi. It's got the longer fins. Next koi, this one right here. I think this one was from Petco. This Ogon right here is next. Go ahead and get this guy in. And last but not least, I'm gonna go grab the one that floated away. And then this guy, one of my favorite right here, is gonna be the last to go into the pond. and off that one goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and give these guys about a week to kind of get used to everything. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put the last of the fish in here. All right, so while those guys acclimate, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the Awaza Lun Aqua light set. Awaza went ahead and sent these over, so I thought I'd just go ahead and include the little unboxing here. So this is a set of three LED lights. You get basically just the normal instruction manual kind of stuff, some packaging material, and then you get the three lights as well. These lights are super energy efficient. They only use like one watt per light. So that's like three watts total. Like I said, you get three of them. Each one is individual with an extra long cord. So they're not like all linked together. You could use as many as you wanted at the same time. And then you also get the little adapter and the little converter as well. So here's everything, like I said, three lights, converter, adapter. And here is where I set them up in the pond. I went ahead and put one under the waterfall as well as one by the skimmer and one kind of closest to the front almost and they look amazing at night, as you can see. They really uplight the waterfall really well, and they also brighten up the pond enough to see the fish, as you can see. They look amazing, this is a great addition to the pond. All right, so it's a few days after that last clip, and the koi are doing really, really well. As you can see, there is a few of them right there swimming around. There's also some more over there by the skimmer, but I was hit by another rainstorm, and it caused a whole bunch of mud to be washed into the pond. So that's why it's a little hazy looking, just the filtration's just taking its time kind of extracting all that out of the water. But other than that, things are going really well. All the fish are in. I went ahead and added some more goldfish, the ones that were in a 29 gallon tank in our office. Took that tank down, went ahead and put the five Comet goldfish in here. So they can have a little bit of a bigger home. I don't know where they are right now. There's some goldfish over there. So they're all just kind of spread out and swimming around. And then I also went ahead and decided to get some pea gravel and line the outside of these rocks with pea gravel. I like how it came out a lot actually. There's some of the fish right there. But everything's doing really, really well. The skimmer's doing fine. Pumps are all doing fine. Koi, they're all doing fine. They ate some peas last night. So they're happy. They're swimming around. Once it warms up, I plan to put a peace lily right here to cover up that liner. As well as a peace lily right here to kind of cover up those cords. Now in the electrical section, next to my pressure filter back here behind this like rock wall, I went ahead and wired all my electrical cords into this uh, like little Tupperware box. So when it rains and storms, no water gets in it. That's where the adapter is for all the lights. There's a timer in there that controls the lights. So the lights come on only for a few hours at night. But I have all my kind of uh, wires just running into that box to protect them from the rain. It's worked very well so far. Also for actually cleaning the pond, the only thing I've done so far is backwash the filter like twice when it was raining really heavy and I had to drain some water to the pond anyway. But that was really, really simple. Another thing I've done is I went to the dollar store and I grabbed like a mop, like a floor cleaning mop. And I went ahead and just used that and like ran it along these sides and it knocked a lot of the dust off. So that was really, really helpful in just keeping the pond clean. 
allowed it to be all sucked in by the filter. Also, another thing I added was this Ring video doorbell. We have one of these in our front door. So I went ahead and picked one up for the koi pond and it basically just can watch over the entire koi pond. And basically from this location right here, it can watch over the entire koi pond in case any predators come at night or anything like that. It has caught some squirrels running around the pond a few times, so it's been working really, really well. I put that little plastic cup over it just to protect it from the rain also. But it's been doing amazing. I've had no issues with it. It works great. And that's it for this update video. We made a few tweaks to the pond, added a few more fish, and that's it for today. I'll go ahead and keep making these updates as more things get added to the pond, like plants and stuff. But that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Good. Bye.